American actor Max Baer Jr. was unfortunate in his love life and has done well to defend his late father and boxer, Max Baer's image. Get inside his relationships and life. Max Baer Jr. is an actor known for portraying the dim-witted Jethro Bodini in The Beverly Hillbillies. He is also from a famous family as he is the son of the late boxing champion Max Baer and his wife, Mary Ellen Sullivan. In the book Max Baer and Barney Ross, Jewish Heroes of Boxing by Jeffrey Sussman, Baer Jr. gave a glimpse of his childhood. He revealed how his dad usually woke up early in the morning to go around town collecting garbage from restaurants. Afterward, he would bring it to the ranch and slop it up to their pigs. Bear Sr. did such seven nights per week and got paid 35 cents each night. Bear Jr. explained that such living conditions made boxing a big deal for his father because, through the sport, he could earn in one night what he earned in three months. With the depression starting, Bear Sr. asked for more fights and would have been happy to fight several nights a week. Bear Jr. said, On August 25, 1930, Max Bear Sr. and Frankie Campbell, local fighters then, entered the ring on a foggy night in the Mission District in San Francisco for a bout. However, the night ended when Bear Sr. landed a right hook that left Campbell dead. After that, Bear Sr. spent some time in jail. Although Bear Sr. escaped spending more time in jail, Campbell's death cemented his reputation as the Livermore Larriper the crazy showboat whose strong right hand could kill a man. Bear Sr. was never the same after the tragedy and got distressed by it so much that he lost four of his next six fights after Campbell. That fatal punch turned Bear Sr.'s reputation around. For example, the film Cinderella Man reopened the controversy as it portrayed Bear Sr. as a loathsome, womanizing thug and claimed that he boasted of killing Campbell. Bear Jr. was furious with the way his dad was portrayed in the film. He said his dad's portrayal in Cinderella Man could not have been more wrong and inaccurate. Bear Jr. said the only thing the film's producer Ron Howard got right about his father was his name. Bear Jr. revealed that nothing haunted his dad more than the fight with Campbell. He disclosed that Bear Sr. did not return to the ring for four months after the fight. Bear Sr. finally fought after Campbell's death at Madison Square Garden against Ernie Schaff on December 19, 1930. Schaff outfought and outboxed Bear Sr. for 10 rounds and won unanimously. Bear Sr. was no longer the same fighter. He lost his fury while his tenacity came and went. He often held back during fights and pulled his punches when he felt his opponents were beaten as he was afraid of hurting them. Bear Jr. said his dad had nightmares about his fight with Campbell for the rest of his life. He would have a dream and wake up at night sweating and muttering, You're okay. Please be okay. Max Bear Sr.'s nightmares usually involved Campbell lying flat on the canvas while he tried in vain to revive him. Bear Jr. began his acting career in 1960 after earning a bachelor's degree in business administration from Santa Clara University. He made appearances in television shows like Cheyenne, 77 Sunset Strip, Maverick, and Hawaiian Eye. His fortunes turned around a bit after starring on The Beverly Hillbillies. Bear Jr. was broke and starving before starring in The Beverly Hillbillies. He reportedly had one quart of milk to sustain him for four days. Also, he had just one threadbare suit of clothes and was down to his last two weeks of unemployment insurance. Bear Jr. also said he was two months behind in his rent and lost so much weight. Bear Jr. studied the works of Andy Griffith and Jonathan Winters to play the part of Jethro Bodini in The Beverly Hillbillies. After the show, it was hard for Bear Jr. to get roles in other films. Hence, he took matters into his hands. In the 1970s, he worked as the writer, producer, director and co-star of a series of low-budget but successful films like Macon County Line, 1974, The Wild McCulloughs, 1975, and Ode to Billy Joe, 1976. 
In the 1980s, he licensed the Jethro character and elements of the Beverly Hillbillies for casinos, restaurants, and similar ventures, but his plans did not materialize. Bear Jr., the only surviving member of the Beverly Hillbillies cast, made some television guest appearances between the 1980s and 1990s. Bear Jr. has been married once in his lifetime to Joanne Kathleen Hill. Their marriage lasted for five years, from 1966 to 1971. In 2008, Bear Jr. found himself in the news again after his live-in girlfriend Cher Rhodes, 30, apparently shot herself and died several days later. Bear Jr. had summoned authorities to his Lake Tahoe home on January 24, 2008, after finding Rhodes with a single gunshot wound to her chest. She was found conscious at the scene and told officers that she had tried killing herself. She also had a suicide note that read relationship problems. Bear Jr. broke his silence about Rhodes' death three months after her passing. He disclosed that he was horrified when he discovered her and added that there was blood everywhere. He also said the police performed a paraffin test on him to ensure he did not shoot her. Bear Jr. has appeared in public a few times in the last decade. In 2012, he appeared at the Thunder Valley Resort and was interviewed by Sam Smith. Today Bear Jr. is 84 years old, and not much is heard about him. However, he has done the best he could for his career and would always be remembered for his exploits in his heydays.